and welcome to today's show where we talk about Henry Park's family. Um, and this is what myself and Mr. Henry Park meet together and we give to you guys lots of information about him. Um, and we've been studying historical figures. Mr. Henry Parks is one of them. Can we please welcome Mr. Henry Parks to the studio? Thank you so much to see you again. Okay, so tell us a bit about your family, like parents, your siblings, if you had any, of course. Um, well, I was the youngest of um, seven children uh, when I grew up. Uh, my mum was Martha Parks and my dad was Thomas Parks. And I had seven girls and eight boys as my children. Wasn't there a tragedy in your um, life uh, about two kids dying or something? Yes, um, there was diseases back then and on the way to Australia when I was taking my family, two of my children died, unfortunately. That well, must be very tragic for you, Mr. Mm -hmm. So you were married a second time yes. with uh, a wife and she died in 1888. Um, yes, then I was married a third time to a maid and um, she lives longer than me. Well, thank you, Mr. Henry Parks, for having for coming to our show. Yes, um, and we hope to see you again next time. Thank you, sir. Hello, and welcome to today's show, where we will be talking about Mr. Henry Parks' occupations. We have been, it's where Mr. Henry Parks and I come. He comes to our studio, and we talk about some of the information, and he gives it to us. And one of We've been studying historical figures in history, and one of the figures involved in the Federation movements is Mr. Henry Park. Can we please welcome him to the studio? Nice to see you, Sam. Hello, nice everybody. Nice to see you too, Mr. Henry Park. Okay, um, tell us a bit about your jobs and occupations. Uh, let's see, I was a journalist. And I was a politician. Of course. Yes. yes I was also a shopkeeper and a merchant. And I was also a labourer. Um, were you... Yeah, that's right. When you were about... was about eight years old. Um, when you came over here as a refugee. Um, you were bone and ivory tuna. Oh, that, that is correct, then. Yes. I know all about you, mate. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you were agri your agricultural labourer for um, Sir John Jennison. That is correct, right again. Thank you very much, Mr. Henry Parks. We've been delighted to have you on the show again, Mr. Henry Parks, and thank you for attending. We we'll hope to see you next episode to Goodbye. talk about your later life. Hello and welcome to today's show where we discuss Mr. Henry Park's later life. This episode is where Mr. Henry Parks and I come together in our studio and he talks about his later life with us. Um, we've been studying historical figures in history lately and Mr. Henry Parks is one of the people who are involved in Federation movement. Can we please welcome Mr. Henry Parks to the studio? Hello everybody again, nice to see you again Sam. Okay. I see you brought me here to talk about my later life, is that correct? Yes it is. Yes. yes. Okay, um, you lost two of your children? Um, yes, I lost two of my children on the way to Australia from sickness. Okay, um, you also you came here on a boat? Um, Did you come with other people, or was it just a couple of Um, it was, I came with my, me and my, my wife and I. And how many other people? And I bought my kids. Did, like, was it public, or was it, or was it just private? Um, I can't really remember. Was it public or private? It was public. I think it, I think it, was, it was public, public yes. yes. Because I was, it was an immigrant. Been, it, was, it would have yes. been hard to yes. pay for that, yeah. Yes. Um, and you reached Sydney in eight, um, in July 1839. That, that is correct, yes. Um, and your ministry, your, your, your group of people, defeated the opposition in 1875. That is correct, yes. And what a day that was. 
And when you got older, we hear you were very impatient and you didn't like to wait for things? Yes, um, when I grew older, I got more impatient and more demanding. Can we please have a glass of coffee? Miss Stanley Parks is pretty impatient. Thank you. Okay, um, you, you gave yourself, oh sorry, you decided to give your, uh, or most kids in Australia free education and it was compulsory for all kids. Yes. It wasn't just the richer kids who give given. Yes, because everybody deserves a well education to succeed in life. And you died at the age of 80 years and 11 months. Yes, and I died five years before I wanted to complete my Federation task. Okay. That's very sad, Miss Henry Park. Yes. But yet you're still alive. Yep. Thank you for coming to the studio today. Um, we have enjoyed another day of talking about Federation. And I've got to go now. Thank you, about you. Hello and welcome to today's show where we discuss to you um, Mr. Henry Park's achievements in his life. Um, some of the uh, achievements in his life is he became one of Australia's most um, most important people in Federation. Uh, he was also known as the father of Federation. Um, Mr. Henry Parks will be coming to the studio today to talk about some of his achievements in life. Please welcome Mr. Henry Parks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, everybody, again. Um, do you got, we hear you, your speeches and things like that got you fairly rich and you were started in poverty? Um, uh, yes, that was true. And I was elected in. I was elected to New South Wales Parliament in 1854. That's very, very exciting. You were also elected for a member of the Mudgee, um, how would I say, group or people? Um, yes, the Labour Party. Yes. Play. Sorry, the Mudgee Party. Yes, that is correct. And you were Premier, that's a big step in 1973. Two, um, and you were premier five times. Yes, five times in New South Wales. And you did a big favour to the people by um, reducing duties and taxation. Yes, they seem to enjoy that. That fact. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have been? Who would have? Yeah. For gaining money. Okay, and you became a member of the New South Wales Parliament. Um. Yes, that's correct. And you became Australia's leading politician. Um, yes, that is correct. And is there anything else? Like, did um, you talk uh, to the public? Or? Well, I actually um, became Australia's leading politician, which was very exciting. And the public basically adored me with facts. And I'm the one who made Federation. So, yay me, supposedly. Well, thank you, Mr. Henry Park, for being on the show once again. Um, we've got one more episode after this. It will be Extra Facts with Mr. Henry Park. Thank you, Sam. Goodbye, everybody. Hello, and welcome to today's show where we discuss to you Henry Park's Extra Facts or other facts you don't know about him yet. Um, this is where myself and Mr. Henry Parks come together and meet up and talk and discuss about what he's done in his life. Um, we are we are looking at historical figures in Federate in in history this term, and we will be looking at Mr. Henry Parks. Please welcome Mr. Henry Parks to the studio. Right, so nice to see you again. Hello, everybody. Didn't know you could run. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I may be old, but I can still do usual stuff. My mum is the one who can't not. By old, like, you were born in 1815? Correct. Actually, yes, it's my 200th anniversary. <laughs> Which was, it's very nice. And fortunately, I don't have a surprise birthday party yet. But, yes. Um, you wrote a poem that was published. Um, yes, that is correct. And I worked my way up to the top of Federation. That's very, very good. Um, 
but you had a child at sea, but the other two died while you were coming over. Um, yes, sir. that is true. I had two children what died from sickness, and I had a baby at sea. Even though you're lacking education, this paper says that you were an extraordinary writer. You could understand um these words. Yes, word. I I just can't get my head around how I got taught this by myself. It's actually quite inspirational. Um, you worked your way to the top. Um, yes. Um, and I also wrote a famous speech, which was quite racist. And you had an interest in politics yes. and was part of an electoral campaign. Um, yes, that, that is correct, yes. And you saw an election, but was the, you, you saw an election, but you received, unfortunately. I I was also a terrible businessman, but I was passionate, and I would never give up. That's very um very pleasing to hear, Miss Mary Parks. If I drop my business out, I'll just like probably want to do it again, you know? Yes. Um, and you taught yourself by reading. Um, yes, I did. I taught myself by reading and writing, which was quite um well, you can say, but it was pretty well sick, is what all the young kids say. That I did that. So, Mr. Henry Pass, we've finished all of our episodes for this this series of talking to you about the Federation. Well, and I would just like to have a little bit of a chat with you. So, um, did you enjoy your life? Um, I, I did. It has its ups and downs and its fights, but my life turned out okay, you can say. And I, I'm actually pretty happy with myself, as I am known as the Father Federation, as and as I, for example, um, had lots of children, and I've had a tough life when I was younger. Thank you for having me on the show, Sam. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been an honour to have you on the show, Miss Henry Parks. Um, as you're 200 years old, like you don't see many people walking around the street at 200 years old. Otherwise, <laughs> no. I like, like, practically fall down and die. You know? Technically, I'm going to go just, back just, to my just grave. Just one step. Yes. <laughs> you go back to your grave? Yes, I will. I'll, 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 I'll lead you to your grave. Just over here. Just over here. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.